Hey everyone, Steve here with QRC. Uh, I wanted to show you a few new things going on with my analyst package. So let's start off by simply opening up a QVRT file. So this QVRT file is 76 seconds long, uh, 10 megahertz bandwidth. Uh, we're basically looking at the FM radio um, spectrum here. So it's going to load it all up. Uh, we see the FFT graph here on top. We see the waterfall on bottom. Uh, we see a bunch of different signals uh, across this bandwidth. So we're going to start taking a look and classifying some of these signals. So let's crank up the FFT a little bit. We can see some of these features going on a little bit better. So this signal right in here, uh, this looks like uh, wideband FM, and it's got these bars here on the side, which indicates that it is an HD radio station or HD capable, while this one right here is not. That's just uh, FM. So that's 97.1, um, I think DC 101 over here. DC 101, that is an wideband FM with HD component as well. So what I've been doing is actually creating and training signal classifiers. So I've taken QVRT files, I've created frequency markers uh, to select signals, um, I've then exported the data from these frequency markers into a series of short segments, and I use this as a training input to train uh, signal classifiers. Uh, we support several different methods. Uh, right now I'm using um, Basically, recognition of the FFT shapes. Uh, it's a one-dimensional analysis that I'm feeding into the TensorFlow framework to do these classifications. So I actually already have two pre-trained networks. Um, we're going to stick with test FFT wide. Uh, it recognizes three signal types. It recognizes uh, wideband FM, wideband FM with a uh, HD component, and it also recognizes noise. So let's go ahead and test this out, and uh, I'll just dive right into it and show you what I mean. So let's zoom in on the signal right here. We've just selected a uh, small portion of it with my tool. Let us take a look at that uh, and create a marker. So it's now a marker, and we can take a look at uh, where it's centered on. So we're going to call that 97.1. It's a bandwidth of 0.26 low and high frequencies, start and stop time. Let's have it start at the beginning of the file and go to five seconds into the file. doesn't really matter. We just need a very short piece of this in order to classify it. We're going to select the test FFT wide classifier, and I'm going to go ahead and click classify. So immediately it comes back with the results saying it's 99% confident that this is a wideband FM signal. So let's try another. So I'm going to select uh, this wideband FM with HD over here. I'm going to create a marker. Say it starts at uh, the beginning of the file and goes five seconds. And we're going to click classify. Wideband FM HD, 99.3% confidence. All right, how about we take a look at a little noise? Let's add that, select it. Just fiddle with the start and stop times a little bit. Hit classify. 100% confidence that that is noise. So the beauty about this is we can take any signal types, basically, and add these to the classifiers to be trained. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm currently using an FFT-based classifier, one-dimensional analysis through TensorFlow. Uh, we can also use um, just the raw uh, time series IQ data to do classification. I've got another one that's trained for narrowband signals to distinguish between um, FM narrowband voice, uh, P25, DMR, some of the other push-to-talk technologies. Um, it's pretty easy to do these kinds of classifiers. So I just um, tested this signal. It came back with 99.98% confidence that this is a wideband FM with HD component. Um, it's pretty much what I wanted to show for now. Uh, I could start opening up other files and um, testing other signals here, but uh, I think a live demonstration is in order for when I come down here Thursday. All right, talk to you guys soon.